So here I'm going to talk about the range rule of thumb, and you're going to hear this mentioned a lot throughout the um, throughout the uh, what do you call it throughout this course. So the range rule of thumb, and the range rule of thumb just kind of tells you, you know, it identifies what we call significant values, identifies significant values in a data set, significantly high or significantly low. And it says, you know, that typical values, you know, typical or, uh, I'm going to say typical, which are considered, you know, non-significant, if that's a word, I'm going to use that, non-significant values lie within, that's within, two standard deviations of the mean. They lie within two standard deviations of the mean. So let's just visually, I don't know why I can't do anything straight here. Let's just visually, here's a number line. Create a number line. Move it down a little bit. Um, and then, since it's a number line, it's continuing in both directions. Let's just show the mean is the center. And two standard deviations above the mean would be, you know, take the mean and add two standard deviations. And two standard deviations below the mean would be to take two, you know, take the mean and subtract two standard deviations, so one, two. Um, so what the range rule of thumb says is that if I'm within two standard deviations, the, you know, any values that are within or lie within two standard deviations, they're not significant values. They're typical, they're not significant, right? But if I go outside or above, two standard deviations of the mean, then we say that we have, you know, significantly high. These are significant, but they're significantly high values. And if I'm two standard deviations below or, or more than two standard deviations below the mean, then I have significantly low, or that value is considered significantly low. <clears throat> so let's just use uh, the last set of data that I had here. Um, I'm going to take the standard deviation and the mean of this. And let me copy and paste this. I'm going to use this to talk about or use the range rule of thumb. So let me take this set of data that I had. And what was the mean? Um, the mean was, this was from the calculator, 118.6. And so here, the mean. was 118.6 and the standard deviation I'm going to use sample and sample because this was a sample so let's use sample so the mean is x bar sample mean and the sample standard deviation is s and the sample uh, standard deviation was 51.2 right so let's use this um, empirical rule I'm sorry not empirical the range rule of thumb Let's identify, well, the mean is 118.6, right? That's the center. Let's identify two standard deviations above the mean. So let's take the mean and then add the standard deviation twice, okay? Or you can, if you want to use this formula, just to make it quick, you go mu plus twice sigma. So you get 118.6 plus twice 51.6. Um, so 118.6 plus 51.2, sorry, 51.2, plus 51.2 plus 51.2, or plus twice 51.2, and I get, let's see what I get, 221. So 221 is here. Anything above 221 is considered a significantly high value for this set of data. Well, there's nothing here that is greater than 221, correct? Which means that none of these data values are considered significantly high. So there's none considered significantly high. Um, I might ask, I'll ask in a second. Let's find the significantly low cases. Maybe I'll do it in another color. Over here, right, over here, two standard deviations below the mean. So I'm going to subtract 
standard deviation, subtract standard deviation, or take the mean and subtract two standard deviations to find the value that represents or is located two standard deviations below the mean. 118.6 minus 51.2 minus 51.2 or minus twice 51.2. 118.6 minus twice 51.2. I get 16.2. 16.2. So anything that's less than 16.2 is considered significantly low. So what it looks like for this set of data and the values that I have is that they're all non-significant. They're all basically typical for this kind of set of data. Um, but if I were to, let's say, ask, I could potentially ask. Um, let me type it to make it clean. Let's say that I ask is uh, 500 significantly, significantly high or low for this set of data? I mean, what would you say? Well, if I'm asking for significantly high or significantly low, that's an indication that I'm asking about the um, the range rule of thumb. So, so is 500 significantly high or significantly low? Well, 500 is a number that is greater than two standard deviations above the mean, right? 221 is the value that separates significantly high, these are sig highs, and these are sig lows. 16.2 is the value that separates the significantly low cases. So 500 is way bigger than 221. So I would say 500, yes, is a significantly high data value for this type of data set. Um, is, um, let's do another one. Is 14. Oh, one second. Significantly or low and sometimes you you know it used to be like the terminology that they used to use is it typical or not typical or unusual or usual is 14 significantly high or low for this set of data um, so again sometimes or what we used to use was typical is it typical for this set of data is it unusual for this set of data you know, how do I know that? Well, is it between 16.2 and 221? Everything between 16.2 and 221 would be considered a typical type of uh, value for this set of data. Well, anything that's lower than 16.2 is not typical, not usual, but also considered significantly low. And anything that's greater than um, 221 is not usual, not typical, or considered significantly high. So 14 is less than 16.2. So yes, we would say that this is a significantly low type of data value for this data set. But everything within the data set is typical, um, usual, or non-significant for this type of data set. Okay? So anytime you hear, you know, usual, unusual, significantly high, significantly low, you're using this range rule of thumb. You want to basically determine two, uh, two um, standard deviations above the mean, two below the mean, and then anything between that is non-significant. Anything lower than two is significantly low. Anything higher than two uh, standard deviations above the mean is significantly high. That's called the range rule of thumb.